in the past, handymen have been the people that, you know, show up, you know, smoking with holes in their shirt and they maybe smell like marijuana. Like we are changing the game. We are making the handyman business into something professional. Okay, friends, let's get to this awesome content. This is a webinar that me and my great marketing professional, Jason Call, did a couple weeks ago. We do these live webinars for free um, every other Tuesday in our Facebook group uh, called the Handyman Journey Mastermind Group on Facebook. So if you're not part of that, there's a link to that in the description below. Get involved in that. We also have another super awesome Facebook group that is geared towards business owners and business builders. It is a private uh, Facebook group geared towards people wanting to grow their handyman business specifically with employees. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment below. I will get you some information for that. But without any further ado, let's get to this awesome content by Jason Call. And like always, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content. Thank you all and enjoy this content. I got a question for you on that. Yeah. Um, so there's been a lot of talk about using the, the word handyman or like home service repair or something like that, because some people believe that there's a negative connotation to handyman. I personally wouldn't take Candyman out of my name, but uh, from an SEO standpoint, is it uh, stronger to have the word Handyman or something like home service? Handyman. If you're a Handyman service you and you have not created your business name, from a marketing di digital marketing perspective, having Handyman, Handyman services, you are going to see search engine results faster, um, certainly within Google My Business. Um, so... You know, it's it's not recommended to put spam keywords in your Google My Business. So if your business name is honestly home repairs, don't make it honestly handyman services just on Google My Business. Um, you risk running uh, or being taken down. Um, so right, it's got to be the same over every platform, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you are a home repair company, handyman service, the 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 raw fact of the matter is that looking at search volume, people look up handyman. They look up handyman near me. They don't look up home repair near. They do, but the volume is just not nearly there to handyman because that's what the consumer thinks. That's what I think. Um, so any negative connotation, I think that's uh, something that, uh, you know, you kind of create that for yourself. Um, I personally, since I've been doing this full time for three years, I have seen, especially with Alan Lee and the handyman journey, um, the word handyman is getting back to where it should be. It's professional handyman services. And so um, that's what you are. I don't think I don't think any kind of negative connotation about handyman. Um, that's my personal opinion. I know people would disagree, uh, but from a pure ranking perspective, <laughs> you want to be a handyman, okay? <laughs> right, so, I would uh, agree. And, that and that I question? Would, that, that's a great question. I, okay. I mean, that's a great answer. I would, I would uh, totally just piggyback on what that little, spot is like we are changing the game of handyman right mm -hmm. in the past handyman have been the people that you know show up you know smoking with holes in their shirt and they maybe smell like marijuana like we are changing the game we are making the handyman business into something professional something that has never happened and that's happening right here at the handyman journey so i would i would tell you guys do not be ashamed to call yourself a handyman because maybe right now in your area there is that stigma but in 10, 20, 30 years, it's going to be completely different. And you are going to be so proud to be a handyman because I'm personally proud to call myself a handyman. So thanks, Jason. Yeah, that's awesome. And and also, too, that relates to pricing. There's no reason why you shouldn't be charging a price that like HVAC, that plumbers charge. Like there's no reason. If you're a professional and fully licensed, insured, handyman, home repair company, like there's no reason why you can't charge $100 an hour. Like mm -hmm. there's no reason why you can't have a $150 minimum service charge because frankly, there's your best customers, your ideal customers, they are going to want to pay that because they want quality work. They don't want a ceiling fan that they look at and it's like, is that going to fall out of my, <laughs> my ceiling? <laughs> you know, like they want it done right. Um, so your ideal customers are going to pay for that, uh, that value, that service. Um, and so it does tie into pricing too a little bit. So the pricing micro course, guys, that's that's something too that I, I talk to a lot of people that they're booked out, they're full time, but they just don't have any wiggle room money wise to invest in growing their business because their pricing is not right. Um, and so getting that dialed in, owning the fact that, you know, a handyman service is no reason why you shouldn't be charging what other home services charge. 
of course, you've got to provide that level of service, that level of marketing, that level of uh, operations, so invoicing estimates, branding, all this stuff that commands that price. So I know there's tons of people in the handyman journey, especially in Alan's group, that that's what they're doing. And uh, it really is kind of this movement um, of where handyman industry is growing up to be HVAC. It's growing up to be plumbing. Um, and it's really cool to see.